All right, so the BD-787, I'm not too sure I got this in the, uh, the camera, but it's showing, this is the, uh, this is the way it's looking at the device with the heat sink, and it calls this lead 3, 2, 1. And then, uh, I guess hopefully you'll be able to see on the data sheet, that's on the top page. On the last page, <laughs> you know, you know, you sometimes you have to look at the package on to figure out what they are. On the last page it says one is the emitter, two is the collector, three is the base. So it goes base, collector, emitter. Go ahead and pull all the wires. We'll set the part in there. And we are going to... Huh? Yeah, this is going to be NPN. So we're going to set the wires to the base, collector, emitter. Yeah, see, they did, the, um, the breadboard's handy for being able to do multiple devices, you know, and go in and out uh, versus, because you could clip the, the leads right to the wires. Okay, so we have that set. We kind of start back with low current, low voltage, always the beginning. Um, and uh, this device is an NPN. Once again, you can see your polarity. You know, you go to uh, NPN. And uh, now we got to move everything down here to the corner once again. So now we're we're all set. Um, we want to look at the uh, the VBE. Remember, uh, base shorted to the collector. You know, for the uh, the VBE. I have a I have a drawing here. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll save this page. And uh, we're looking for two volts at 200 milliamps. And uh, so two volts at 200 milliamps will probably go something like 50 milliamps per division and uh, a half a volt. So let's see here. Here we go. We're going a, a half a volt. Oh, actually, I'm going to increase this. Now, see, this, we don't have good resolution. We're only two squares. We've got plenty of room on this. So let's actually move further out and then we'll try it again. Now we're going to uh, move to there, and uh, let's count again now, point 0.1, point 0.2, because we're at 100 millivolts per division, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7. Now we're starting to turn on. We'll count current going vertically, 50 milliamps, 100 milliamps, 150, 200. So we are at... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at about 0.84 volts at 200 milliamps. So you know this is a uh, you know kind of very well in the uh, operating range uh, for for the uh, VBE. Yeah. So now simple. We're going to go to check the. Uh, collector to emitter breakdown. This one actually is a 60 volt device, but it has a 100 microamp spec, so. We're gonna take the base, which is now shorted the collector, bring it down here to the emitter. This ensures the transistor is off. Now we'll try and set our supply to at least go to 60 volts. We'll move to max peak up to 75 and we'll set our I think our voltage for 10 volts per division to start with and uh, we'll go down to uh, 20 microamps per division so let's see what the breakdown is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and we're not going any further. So now we got to turn off. We'll go to 20 volts per division, increase our supply. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Uh, what's going on? Go to 50, <laughs> 50, 
100. Oh, um, yeah, I think we're, we're live. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Wow, so see, this is a, uh, this has a breakdown of 250 volts at uh, five squares will be 100 micro. And, you know, basically it's still 250. And this is the reason why you won't see current a lot of time rated on the breakdown because it's no matter what it is, even if at, uh, at two microamps, it's 250. At, uh, you know, at 50, it's just mi minimally higher. So essentially this number does not really change much. You know, it, uh, it's still pretty much what you're looking at is the point where it breaks. And, uh, you know, it's usually never spec'd above in, in 250 microamps. You know, but essentially, if it's 250 microamps you're measuring, or, you know, from 10 microamps, it's still going to be 250.